Hey everyone, how's it going? If you're new to this channel, I'm Jordan, and I like creating videos that highlight the beauty of life and the significance of our relationships in it. I started this channel exploring the bond between dogs and people, and people were saying more than just my dog is my best friend. My dog helped save my marriage. My dog helped me cope with the loss of a loved one. So I wanted to continue exploring that relationship. This is volume two of Dogs and People. My name is Kendrick. Um, this is Bo, and he is a sheepadoodle. It's a mix between a poodle and an old English sheepdog. I am Evelyn. He is Maxim. And uh, what breed is Maxim? That's a Yorkshire. My name is Stephen, and uh, this is Nala. She's a three-year-old cane corso. And this is Bella. She's a seven and a half-year-old Saint Bernard. So I was a peaceful volunteer in Guinea, in West Africa. So I spoke a lot of French there, and I wanted something that you know sounded somewhat French. Maxime, Maxime de Paris, I'm French. Maxime de Paris was a very well-known restaurant in Paris. The word beaucoup, which means a lot, is something that like was the base of the name. So I kind of just took the first first part of that word, beau, um, and just made it his name. From the beginning, she was like a really sweet, lovable dog, and we just wanted really, you know, a, a passive name. She's a docile dog very much though, and so that's what we settled on Bella with. When we adopted Nala, she's, she's very mischievous and um, uh, super assertive with the things that we, she wants. So the kids are like, she's like the lion from the Lion King, the female lion Nala. For the past like year or so, I knew I wanted a pet. And so um, I researched some breeds, poodle breeds mixed with like a different um, kind of dog. And so I found a breeder that has, pretty, had a pretty short wait list. I just decided to go for it. And that's pretty much how we met. I picked him, he's like my third choice or so, and it worked out well. This is your fifth Yorkshire? Yes. Yeah. I have a, a English, a French, a Canadian, American, and this one is a mix. It's a German, American, and French. <laughs> <laughs> Several years ago, I was raising both of my boys here in the city, and uh, they wanted a dog really badly. So we went looking for a larger breed dog that could handle two teenage boys running around the house all the time. And um, we found uh, Bella through a friend that knew the breeder that was breeding her, uh, her grandfather. And her grandfather's a show dog in New York. And so we didn't need a show dog, we just needed a, a regular sturdy dog. We got her when she was eight weeks old and she's been a city girl ever since. My name is Brittany, uh, this is Chaco. His name is Chaco, like the shoe. We actually don't know the breed, he's from Togo, Africa. This is my roommate's dog, she was in the Peace Corps, but when COVID happened, um, they got sent home. So she got sent first, and then one of her friends um, in Togo basically held on to him and went through the process of the airport. I mean, his flight got canceled like three times. And then it was like the last flight to America. With Nala, um, we were all kind of stuck in the house a couple years ago and um, we were looking for uh, another puppy to keep in the house and to kind of keep Bella busy when we didn't have time to play all the time and uh, there was a breeder in Baltimore that um, bred cane corsos and had a really good reputation and so we drove up to see her and we um, ended up picking out one of her puppies and bringing it home that day actually. We're just about three weeks into this relationship so um, I think we're still kind of making those memories but um, I do recall his first um, the day I picked him up because you know, he left his litter, he left where he'd grown up for the past eight weeks, and so he was just in the car ride with me, and he hates car rides, and so I kind of felt like that moment kind of bonded us. He just knew that like, he could depend on me, and so um, that was what's kind of memorable, just like that that first car ride from Virginia to when I drove him out here to my place. He's a happy dog, he's always happy, he loves people. He didn't like big dogs, he attacked the big dogs, but he loved people, he's always, and he's play, 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 play. He's very fashionable like you. You're both very... Uh, well, of course, very... of course. <laughs> yes. Maxime de Paris. <laughs> My roommate works a pretty strict work from home schedule, so I get to take Chaco on a walk almost every day. So we've got to spend a lot of time together. Bella, being a city girl, has never been um, to the woods or anywhere outside of into the countryside or anything like that. And uh, my youngest son was in school at the University of Maine, or still is actually. And we decided to run up there and surprise him one weekend and we'd bring the dog with us. And uh, we were in there, uh, Maine, for not even 24 hours. We had taken her out to the woods to play and she picked up a four foot stick and went running across the woods with it and impaled herself straight through her mouth. 
um, because she had never played with anything like that before or done anything. We spent the night at the emergency vet clinic. Uh, she ended up throwing up like a four inch section of wood out of her mouth and um, she was fine. She was like a tank, you know, the, the whole way uh, home. She just laid in the back of the car and ate french fries and then a week later she was fine. It was like nothing had ever happened. Um, right now it means a lot given that we're in this pandemic. Um, so we're about a year and some change in. And having the dogs around, I mean, they're literally days I would never even get out of the apartment if I hadn't had, you know, had the dog. So it's, it's very healthy for me. Um, he gets me outside way more than I typically ever do. And um, he means a lot. Like he takes a lot of care and training. It's almost having like a child per se. I know it's not equivalent, but it feels like that to me personally. You know, it's, it's a really, a, I think a very comforting thing to have um, someone depending on you or something depending on you. I have always wanted a dog and I haven't been ready for a dog. So it was nice to have a roommate who brought in a dog that I get to spend time with every day. Um, and I think it's only bringing me closer to getting my own dog and giving this guy a friend. He's my, he's my dog. My little thing is, is everything. You know, it's fun, it's uh, beautiful, you know, it's, uh, it's my dog. That's it, I'm Mimi. Beautiful, beautiful.